Well, hello everyone. This is Mange. You're watching Mange Unleash here in Subsistence. Um, crap. On the wrong dang way. Aren't I? Get up here to this rock. Actually, I want the tree, but... No, it's the bear. No, I'm not. Okay. No, I'm right across the pond from where I want to be. That helped out. So, yeah, anyway... Um... Starting over here. Day one. Probably not to get eaten by a grizzly. And, uh, yeah, I just got to the point, you know, where in my base is. Like, I mean, not as big as it can be. <laughs> you know, you keep gathering resources. You can make them as big as you want, I guess. But, you know, after a while, you've got everything and spend your days out and about just gathering more stuff to build more stuff you know chasing after the uh rogues breach charging your base or uh i meant dcu cracking you know take them out and then they rebuild you go do it again so Every once in a while, it's fun to restart because like the early times like this tend to be a little bit more of a challenge, a little more fun. You know, I'm walking around with hundreds of rounds of ammo and running by blindly. You know, up hills, around trees and stuff, doesn't matter. Something's there, you just blast it. <laughs> yeah. But now, can I pay a little bit more attention, go a little bit more cautiously. Um, the other thing I was going to mention, you may have seen, I've also uh, been playing Icarus during the beta weekend, which have actually ended now. So, December 4th is the full release day. And uh, I have a friend of mine who just watched a couple of these videos. And he's just now getting into subsistence. So, he's you know not a gamer or anything. But he's new to it. He just he's enjoying it. But he's you know having same difficulties everybody has at the beginning. But uh, once he's all up and running, we're gonna try to get together and maybe do some co-op here. We'll see what happens with that. But uh, I mentioned to him about Icarus. I think I sent him a link to a trailer or something. He's like, oh, hell no. <laughs> He's still <clears throat> fairly new at subsistence. And I was calling Icarus like subsistence 2.0, you know, on steroids. Just so much bigger. But then again, you know, I understand too that subsistence made by Cold Games, one guy. One person makes this game, and I don't know really anything about him. You know, it's just something he does on his spare time. <clears throat> you know, what his regular job is, I have no idea. But it's awesome, it's impressive what he's done. But hey, you know, other games that are similar. And actually, uh, I think Icarus is a little bit more similar to Ark. Just minus the dinosaurs. <laughs> but 
but yeah, you know, here you can, you know, just build your stuff and play the game. It's a lot more relaxing in many ways. I mean, there are surprises, and this game will get your blood pumping. But, I don't know, I want to say in my way, there's a lot less threat. You know, you don't have the <coughs> constant storms that will, that'll kill you. You got to get out of the elements. And, uh, I don't know. The bears are definitely more dangerous in Icarus than they are here. Eh, maybe not. I mean, it's just, you know, if you think about the number of times you can take a hit from them. You know, they probably kill you, but... I mean, in that, it's close. I think they're just... Well, for one, they're faster. You, you can't just run by a bear or a wolf like you can in existence and just, you know, slap it on the butt and run. <laughs> you know, it'll never catch you. That's not true in Icarus. They'll catch you. <laughs> and they should, you know. While well, animals like wolves and bears should be able to catch a person. You know, a human run. I need to find more nails, so it's because, well, I got enough, I need five, alright, and I need a bow, I have five planks is for my foundation, I see another building crate over there, I'm doing alright in the fruits and veggies, now, I usually build my base there on the beach. Off that rock. However, because out here is closer to the grove where the uh, really good those trees right there. I was contemplating building down here so close to the trees, and here's the water source I need. But, I only catch little fish out of this pond. There's another pond up here that I've caught catfish out of. But, it's closer to my beach, you know, one behind me is, so might as well just go to the beach. Yeah, and there I'm catching salmon and uh, the occasional bath. See if I could hop on a chicken. Grab the scrap. I see what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, if I understand the chicken jump correctly, that's just, uh, you know, when you jump, when you're in the air, and I've actually proven this theory before on my platform for the wolf, <laughs> it bit me. Um, when you're in the air, the animals don't like sense that you're there, that you're behind them. Which is why they, you know, like a chicken will stop. And the same thing with a wolf on your foundation. You know, if you step off and shoot it, it'll run at you. And you just take a step onto your foundation and the wolf will turn and run away. I made a mistake one time of jumping onto my platform 
and it's kind of like when I was in the air, the wolf didn't register that I was on the platform. So I, I don't know, he was like in mid bite. <laughs> so as soon as I hit the ground, he took a bite, but then he took off and run. Ran. So. Anyway, I'm pretty sure that's the case. How that works. Alright. Meaning, one chord. All right. Let's get this made. I'll go get that chicken too. Need a bow. Six cords. I need a few more for some arrows. I have one, but... And six cords. E. That's all my cordage. Alright. Foundation is down. I like to keep it low, so I don't really have to jump into it, and the less, like, foundation legs, they're here on this path. So yeah, you don't have the foundation legs that you would have to uh, protect from, like, you know, the hunters when they show up. Let's see, I'm going to need wood. You need a campfire. Uh, where am I at my, on my bow thing? More cords. Yeah, there is no like a uh, set my base up here. Now I got it. It's that grub tree there. So it's always easy to go fishing. And I typically use my bow and go hunting before fishing, but. It is not. Plus you really have to go fishing in a way. You gotta get the fish oils. See that because I scared it away. Where'd you go? What is that? That's an ammo bag. Cool. Oh. 
Okay, I needed those three wood planks. They were to repair. You're loaded up. How many arrows have we got now? Five. Woo! Rolling in there. Two more. Anyway, got you that time. Thanksgiving chicken. Can you go get that plant fiber? Because then I'll forget about my chicken. Uh, have two grapes and one out. And these three little chickens don't do much, but.
I like to keep my ammos up in this corner like that. And you. Alright, close enough. You not like that. You want though is a wolf. Can I do this again already? Nope. Um I prefer one closer to the platform. Foundation platform. And you know I don't have a lockbox key. And so now I'm going to run into one. What is that? That's a wolf. Well, you know. I could get a wolf to chase me. Closer to the foundation. Yeah, basically, I just wanted the wolf for, uh, food. I'm fine right now, but I want it for later when night sets in. I'm also going to need more wood because if it starts raining, let's see. This should be it's March. Still gonna be cold. I just swore I started on January. I usually always start on January, 120 days. Because when you're under foundation with your fire to keep from freezing to death. Oh, I hear it. There it is. But, uh, if it rains, it'll put your fire out, and then you're freezing to death. <laughs> so you make the foundation, and then a wall, and then a ceiling part. Yo, hurry, please, with me. I can hear the pitter pat. He's pretty much stopped. Let's get a little more distance and elevation. Okay. Already did that. Thank you, though. Let's see. That's right. 
Why do you fit in there? If you go there, you go there, and you go there. Alright. I got enough nails. For a wall. Takes ten, and the ceiling should take ten. That's four. The eight boards. One, three quarters. And two left. How do you do? You could use some more wood soon. Not going far from my. Cooking, I really do not want to burn those right now. That would annoy me. Get a little later on in the game, I'll definitely intentionally be burning that stuff because it makes good math. Medicinal plants right now are more biofuel than anything else. Let's top off the fire before it goes out on me. Five more. Scrub tree might be good to go again. Starting to get dark. Well, put my uh, wall and ceiling up so the fire's protected from the rain. I won't freeze to death. I hear you, chicken. I'll get you later. Grab these couple here and camp out for the night. Okay. Hey, I lock it when there's a loot bag on my rock. Oh, rather. See? Didn't need you, chicken. Eventually I will make a what you might call it. A uh Oh hell I have no idea. Anyway <laughs> This means thanks for watching. I'll see you next time when I figure out what the hell I'm talking about.